good morning everyone. yesterday's vlog just finished in Edison and I have already had a quest bar I know I'm so bad and um, so I'm eating a few oats today I am gonna run through some of the questions that you asked I said in my last vlog that I put a post out and I'm doing an Instagram Q&A so uh, what I'm gonna do uh, I'm not gonna just do a sit down Q&A because sometimes I find them a little bit boring and uh, to watch I find boring as well so I don't want to bore you guys, I want to make it interesting and to show you a little bit more about my day. So what I'm going to do at different points in the day, I'm just going to answer a different one from you guys. Thank you so much for everyone who asked me a question. <clears throat> and I'm going to pick a random selection of various topics and answer as many as possible. So I'm going to finish up editing this, I'm going to finish my chocolatey oats. <coughs> we have another coffee and then I'm going to get ready for life today. Mm. Not sure how it has happened, but I've become one of those really late people. And I used to hate them. I used to be like, why are people not on time? I thought, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. I need to start answering these questions because I'm supposed to be doing a Q&A today and I've not even started. So we're going to start. <laughs> Sorry. Honestly guys, I should do like a daily weird DM because I get so many nice ones but bloody hell. Sometimes I'm like, seriously? Are you actually being serious? And one of my comments here has said, how much for a video of you shaving your armpits? <laughs> so, that just made me laugh. I haven't got time for this. Stop laughing. Right, okay. Glimpse of Gabby. Always look so happy and positive. What are some things you do to maintain this? So, what do you do to maintain this? I think positivity really comes to the mind. It is definitely something that I've had to develop over the years. But I would say just start in the day also with a walk. You know, guys, I love to do that. It clears my head, but also just think three positives to one negative always. So if you're even thinking about a negative, try and name some positives. Start the day with a smile. Start thinking about what you are grateful for. There obviously is some things day to day that I think that's a little bit rubbish that's happened. That's gone wrong in my day. It's not been the best day ever. But when that happens, try and brush it aside and start every day as a fresh, like it's gonna be your last. And I know that is a little bit preachy, but try and do that. So that is question number one. Thank you for that, Gabby. And I need to run. <laughs> Hello guys, I have met Em, hey. she is here, and I think we are going to train up, are we going to train up for Bonnie because I can hardly yeah. walk, actually yeah, I'm walking like, I'm wobbling like a duck at the moment, wobbling. Um, so we'll show you what we do. We're in the changing room, <laughs> and got this lovely little selfie mirror, which is like from behind, it's fantastic. Very clear, yeah, very light. I know.
with Emma and I have just ordered my standard at Starbucks I'm not even going to go into it again because you guys know what it is I'm just actually sitting outside the mailbox and that is in Birmingham and so I thought I'd answer another one of your questions on Instagram Johnny underscore Turner 123 would you ever consider moving to a London or a foreign country? Um, I did consider actually moving to London quite a few months ago but I think probably the way of life is a little bit busy for me at the moment. I'd love going down there for like a holiday or a few days but I don't really consider moving to London. I'm too much of a country bumpkin. A foreign country I love to travel and this year definitely I've set myself a target of traveling a lot more. I'm going to stop home in Oslo in it two weeks time and in September I'm going to LA. San Diego and Vegas so that should be really fun I'll probably go back to Dubai as well before the end of the year too but at the moment I'm quite happy just living in the country and traveling quite a bit too I'm lucky enough to do that yeah I'm gonna drink this and I need to do a food shop and then I'm gonna go back I've got to Morrison's but I'm a hundred percent like hungry right now like hungry slash angry a little bit like the time is 10 past two i'm not angry really but I, you know when you can feel like i'm so hungry right now and agitated but i thought i'd stop at the shops on the way back but because i wanted to do this q a today i thought i'd answer another question really quickly i'm gonna do an easy one aurora uh uh i don't know how tall are you sophie can't really see on photos but I am only five foot one so pretty midget but I'm okay with that I think throughout my uh like really young childhood years I wanted to be that like a slight bit taller but I like being short and I really do and you can always make yourself taller with heels so uh I like it I like my height but when people meet me that is the first thing that they say like I don't expect you to be that short I'm back and still haven't eaten a proper meal yet but as you can see I think a little mouth had a few like this is open <laughs> and so are the tomatoes. So I'm gonna make a quick snack now and then I've got so so many emails to reply to it's Monday so everyone kind of gets back to people on Monday from the weekend because no one wants to work at the weekend it's only me who is silly and sometimes sends emails at the weekend so I'm gonna make this and then I'm gonna eat and then I'll come back to you with another question that you asked. I feel this position has been the story of my life the last few days I've just been on a computer and I don't know if anyone else feels the same but when I'm just sitting doing nothing I start craving stuff so at the moment I've got a protein bar like so while I'm taking a quick break I thought I'd answer another question sure thing 17 he said how did you get sponsored by knocko in particular but i thought i would answer this question about sponsorship in general you have to have like a, a social media following a little bit but actually all my sponsors tell me that it isn't particularly the following that you have like the total number it's the amount of people that are actively engaging in your post. So people who are interested in you, interested in what you've got to say. And I always think it is better to stay true to yourself, be yourself, and also be consistent. So on social media, on Instagram, which is my main platform, I would say, I always do at least one post a day and they are always around. Sorry, I think and a bit of chocolate in the side of my mouth there. They are always around the same kind of time. So you don't want to follow someone who only posts like once a week. So that is why I'm trying to get better on YouTube to try and get more consistent because I know what it takes, but it's just hard sometimes to like fit it all in and also with what you've got to do. So that was a roundabout question. But I would say be consistent with your content um, and be real don't kind of go for one-off posts because they might make you a little bit of money. Be honest, be truthful, and people will follow you. It just takes time and consistency. So that, I'm just gonna finish this, finish my work.
well. And some of those are quite interesting. Gosh, I'm really burpy. This is absolutely grotesque. I'm Anna Tinsley. I just clicked on her profile. She says, how do you manage to avoid a sore or dry hands from lifting? Mine are terribly dry, but can't face using gloves. Yeah, I have a bit of a weird thing with gloves and I don't know whether this is like the macho thing in me, but I don't really like using them myself. And uh, I don't know, I've got, a few little sore patches, but they're kind of just under control. They've always been like that. That hand is a little bit better. I always use like coconut oil over my whole body, you know, like coconut oil that you cook in. So I lather my face and body with it every night. So I find that really helps with uh, dry skin. I rarely use moisturizer, just coconut oil. I just like a greasy turkey. I've got a few questions. Now I have never answered any questions regarding my best enlargement on social media because I feel like some people like who may want to know it for a different reason I'm kind of trying to pry but some people are just generally quite interested in knowing the procedure and size and everything like that um so yes I have had a breast enlargement like three years ago now uh so it was just before I got into fitness actually. So those of you who've been following my Instagram for the last like two and a half years will always have known me like this. It feels very natural. I did it for my own reasons, not for anyone else's. Um, and probably because uh, since I was known on social media that I've always had them. It's kind of, I never felt the need to talk about it before and this is probably like the only time and the last time I will mention it, not because I'm embarrassed about it, just because it's one of those things that's quite private. I know some people talk about it and talk about their operation and things like that, but because I haven't done it whilst I'm I've kind of put my life out there on social media. I've never felt the need to talk about it, um, but now I have done. So if you do have any comments, like I am quite prepared to answer them underneath here, but like on a social media post when I've not talked about it and um, someone asked me a question, I sort of, I don't know. I don't know if I get like a little bit, ooh. Um, but I'm going to leave it there for today guys. I actually don't know what this vlog will be like because it feels like I've just kind of been here, there and everywhere and really tried to work hard on this thing that I'm going to be revealing soon at the same time. Plus, I, I hope it's okay. I will edit it uh, tonight when I get home and try and upload it for tomorrow or it'll definitely be up by Wednesday. If you've liked this vlog please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe to my channel to see much more of me um i i'm honestly trying to upload at least twice a week now and i am really really trying to improve my content i promise you it is like my main focus at the moment to really just teach myself different processes and and take your advice on board so if you do have any if you do have any comments, please feel free to comment below. Uh, please be kind. <laughs> please be kind because I do find it very difficult. Technology really isn't my friend, but I really feel like I am improving and that's what we should all aim to do. Oh my God, I've just kind of looked at that bit of my hair. I'm just going to do this. I love you and leave you. See you again soon.